Well, good afternoon, everyone. You know, the marimba is such a fantastic instrument, and one of my favorite things about it is the fact that it still has so much unrealized potential. It's really only been westernized for just a little over 65 years now, so it's kind of akin to playing keyboard instruments like the harpsichord and the clavichord back when Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach, who was of course the most musically prolific son of Johann Sebastian Bach, was coming up with revolutionary technical concepts like turning your thumb under on your hand when you play runs in order to make them more rhythmically smooth. So in, just um, in that capacity, um, because the marimba is such a new instrument, people are still coming up with new and interesting ways of holding four mallets and even six mallets. As a matter of fact, I have a colleague who just did the entire lecture recital for his master's degree specializing in six mallet marimba repertoire, which is extremely impressive. So in any case, as this instrument is so new and exciting, everyone's trying to come up with ways of doing more with the instrument, pushing the boundaries of the instrument. How much more can I do with the instrument? Can I transcribe this harpsichord prelude and fugue for the instrument? Can I do this Bach organ fugue for the instrument? Could I do a lute suite for the instrument? Could I do WC piano repertoire for the instrument? Could I do a Rachmaninoff etude tableau on the marimba? So, as tends to be the case, new innovation is required in order to get over these hurdles. So I've decided to come up with a new technical concept for the marimba. Now, if we're going to push the boundaries of this instrument so much, then obviously we need to come up with ways of holding more mallets at a time. More mallets than four, more mallets than six even. So what I have devised that I would like to share with the international percussion community today is 12 mallet technique. So let's have a little bit of a look at our initial setup here. In the right hand, you can see that I've crossed these two mallets as though I'm going to play them with traditional grip. And on the inside, I've crossed these two mallets as though I'm going to play them with the Burton cross grip. I've left the two center mallets uncrossed for now. They don't actually get crossed until I pick them up in the hand. Now, likewise, with the left setup, the outside is a traditional cross, the inside is a Burton cross, the two middle mallets are left uncrossed, and you'll notice that I've tried to graduate the mallets from the low end of the instrument to the high end of the instrument, from softest to hardest. However, you will notice that I've used rattan shaft mallets on the inside. That's because the rattan shafts are a little bit thicker and they're a little bit easier to grab onto with the inside of the hand or the thumb and the index finger. So in any case, now that I've shown you the uh, concept for how to initially set up mallets for success so you can pick them up and play, I will now demonstrate 12 mallet technique for you. Never has so much been possible on this instrument. This concludes the instructional video. Thank you very much for watching my demonstration. See you next time.